All right, Oval fans, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this is going to be a video because we got some more information. Uh, we learned in this week's episode that Greg was actually shot in the head. And the question is, who the hell did it? Now, I did the video last week that was pretty much a breakaway video that did almost 15,000 views so far. And that was the one I think it was titled, What Happened to Greg? Where I talk about, you know, okay, uh, was it kyle was it uh donald was it jason was it a mystery man maybe somebody hired by veronica's i mean victoria's father or somebody else i don't know and the speculation just went through the roof but i know more people now than ever are speculating that uh you know what what if jason did it and i talked about it in my video last week now i'm not gonna lie the trailer for next week does show that jason apparently knows where secret service hides or excuse me where secret service hide uh, stores their weapon re weaponry so it's like well i mean maybe he got one of the guns and shot greg on site that doesn't make a lot of sense though because that wouldn't explain how he got in and out of the white house like he would have had escaped the white house which he's fully capable of doing got a ride to where greg lives which i have no idea how he would know where greg li lives and then once he got there saw gene's body shot him in the head no sorry but jason was not the one that did it unless tyler decides to randomly write it that way it just makes no sense now we got the fake news story out about the whole oh neighbor said you know ah, i love you yada 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 i mean you did he shoot himself but apparently there are multiple fire, uh, you know, multiple um, gunshots heard, according to that report. But at the same time, it's like, well, apparently it was only one that hit him in the head, which makes no sense. Because if he indeed shot himself, shouldn't there have been blood splatter or whatever? I mean, that's one thing missing. Look at the Amanda murder and the haves and the have nots, blood splatter. Even more so when we saw the photo that Jennifer Salison, you know, showed David that was seemingly forgotten about years ago. It's just like one of those things where it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess we'll have to see how things play out. Maybe Tyler didn't want to show that much gratuity. But then again, when you look at what the highest did to those people who were trying to escape the compound, I'm pretty sure that didn't play a factor in um, why he did what he did with Greg. So we know he was shot. Obviously, this was a clear setup based on that news report, just like the one that was put out about Denise's, um, you know, hor horrific murder in her boutique, which we know was fake. It's one of those situations where, OK, here's what we got to look at. Whoever arranged that news story obviously had something to do with Greg being killed due to the fact that. Um, this was a setup to make him look like the one that killed Gene. And remember, Jason was the one that tried to hint at that to Priscilla. Like, you know, my sister, when she was in her car, you know, she overheard them going back and forth, arguing over the phone, and it got pretty violent. So Jason was the one that kind of planted those seeds in Priscilla, which she knew was bullshit. But I honestly don't see how Jason would have done it because it makes no sense. But then again, this is the oval here, so I don't know. But I cast my vote on Jason not doing it. And I've already explained the other video about how Kyle doing it makes no sense because he was at his place with Dale. Donald didn't do it because he, he was at his place with Lily. So it must have been like another agent in the dark that did the dirty deed. But even then, it makes no sense of who set it up. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I guess the question is, you know, will the truth be told at some point? Not who did it exactly, but, you know, the truth that the story that was to cover up was bullcrap. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. As always, I do appreciate the support. If you want to donate, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. If not, you know, just do the usual like and subscribe and all the other good stuff I ask you to do in every video. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you later.